Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another Revisa 3.1.2 video. I am back with Plague Tale 2 Revisa 3.1.2 hood fix video. And as usual, uh, I have already made the mod. This mod consists file from OptiScaler 0.7.0 preview 47. I have already renamed and pasted all the necessary files which are needed for this mod. So it's uh, really simple. Uh, we just extract the zip, then copy the files. Then we go to the installation directory of Plectel 2 for me, which is here Plectel Requiem. And then where the Plectel Requiem 64.ex is located, uh, we're gonna paste everything right here. Now, after pasting, uh, we're gonna go inside the DLSS override and we will double click on the enable signature override and click on yes now remember we are not going to use the in-game frame generation which is already present in the game's uh, setting menu graphics menu we are going to use the OptiScale as frame generation that's why i'm not using the dlss enabler but using the OptiScaler. so yeah i will now head into the game it will be quick short and simple guide so now i'm gonna head into the game and show you which hood fix option is uh, working and how to change up scalar and everything if you are new so yeah let's dive into the game now updated list of rental games offline activation and some popular untried games is here feel free to pause the video choose your game come to discord and send message to the cheap games mind channel all right i'm back in the game and amicia and hugo is uh, at the new city this is chapter 2 you can see the fps is hovering around 50 55 50 to 60 so in order to turn on the frame generation first you will need to go to setting <clears throat> then go to graphics and set the game's brightness to at the middle point in order to make this mod work uh, yeah this is a very odd thing but uh, setting the game's brightness even more higher or lower than the default value will make the game's uh, fsr 3 frame generation hood fix not work frame generation will work but hood fix will not work so yeah set the game's brightness to middle point uh, or the default value and you will need to scroll down here and you can see now you can enable the dlss even on non-rtx gpu suppose md and gtx so you need to activate the dlss at uh, uh, any setting which you want quality ultra quality i'm just setting quality here but you won't be able to use the in-game frame generation as i told uh, you will just need to set the dlss then uh, you can also see my graphics preset it's on uh, high and medium mixture of high and medium so motion blur i will turn that uh, none set the game's uh, upscaler to dlss and come back to the game uh, and after that press insert button the pre-scaler menu will open up now click on frame generation frame will be generated you can see it's now around 100 but uh, at the bottom uh, uh, left corner uh, you can see that uh, the cross icon where it is coming at uh, this uh, bottom location you can see it's uh, flickering also the subtitle will flicker when it comes on uh, wait maybe someone will speak here yeah there you can see also the subtitles are flickering so what we need to do is apply the hood fix limit to so click on the hood fix then set the limit by two uh, this game does not have an inbuilt frame generation so i cannot show you difference between the real and fake frames but one thing you can do to test is press the insert again and click on this fg debug view so if the frames are really generated you will see something like this and if the frames are not being re uh, truly generated you will see only the games uh, like this uh, big screen uh, like this big gameplay or something else will uh, occur on your screen or maybe it will go totally black or maybe some artifacts or anything but if your uh, fsr3 is working uh, you will see something like this these are the motion vectors which are uh, needed to uh, render the generated frames and everything so yeah if you can see this kind of thing with the uh, debug view uh, you can see uh, know that that the fps uh, is real it's not fake fps and the frames are being generated so as you can see that hood is also fixed subtitles rails and this cross icon on the bottom left is not flickering and the frames are real so yeah uh, this will be it for this video now if this uh, helps you you can subscribe to the channel feel free to join the discord and uh, discuss more about upcoming mods i will also be making a video on uh, last of us fsr 3.1.2 because that game has a long due 
the last upscaler the game had was fsr3 only which is terrible in my opinion so yeah i will be updating that also in this game you can apply these other uh, fixes also other upscalers also such as xcss xcss is also good you can also apply fsr 3.1.2 you can also use the custom one from here after applying the fsr 3 you will see the new upscaler menu has appeared here you can also apply 2.3.2 .2 from here so yeah it's uh, totally up to you which uh, upscaler you want to use but if you have rtx you can just use the real dlss that's good so yeah cheers now i'll see you in the next one